hi friends welcome to engineering made easy i am lalit vasist in this video lecture we will discuss the quadrature phase shift king qpsk here we will discuss the basics of qpsk why it is known as qpsk and also its advantages then we will discuss the generation that is the block diagram of qpsk generation here is the block diagram of the qpsk generation we will also see the mathematical equation of the QPSK waveform. So what is quadrature phase shift keying? Actually earlier we have seen that in ASK, FSK and BPSK we transmitted one bit per symbol. What is symbol? Symbol is the each discrete waveform or carrier state. One pulse, one waveform is known as the symbol. So in every symbol we transmitted only one bit in case of uh, BPSK. Let's talk about the BPSK because uh, QPSK and BPSK are the phase shift keying methods. BPS BPSK is the binary phase shift keying while it is QPSK is quadrature phase shift keying. So in BPSK uh, we transmitted one bit per symbol and this bit can either be one or zero. So we used two phases to transmit these two types of bits 0 and 1 we transmitted 0 for 0 degree phase shift and uh, 1 by a phase shift of 180 degrees or pi so here this is known as binary because we used two phases here but in case of quadrature phase shift keying what we do we transmit two bits per symbol in every waveform we transmit two bits so what is its benefit? So its benefit is we can transmit two bits in the same bandwidth. So our band bandwidth is conserved. We need less bandwidth. So this is the uh, advantage of uh, QPSK in comparison to BPSK. Since uh, we are transmitting two bits in uh, one symbol, so these two bits can have uh, four combinations. Okay these four combinations of two bits can be either 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so we need here we have four combinations so we need uh, four phases to distinguish these two uh, these four combinations so that's why it is known as quadrature means four quadrature phases quadrature phase shift king we use the phase shift king in quadrature so four phases are required so let's now discuss the QPSK generation block diagram because this video is mainly about the generation of QPSK. So let's come to the point. See here this is the mathematical expression for the QPSK. This is AC cos 2 pi FCT plus 2M plus 1, 1 pi by 4. Here M can take values like 0, 1, 2 and 3. You can write this expression this uh, 2m plus 1 pi by 4 as phi t because this is the angle so if you put m equals to 0 in this equation then you will get uh, this phi t as pi by 4 okay m equals to 0 if you place m equals to 1 then it will be 2 plus 1 that is 3 pi by 4 okay so in this way you can put uh, various values like uh, 0 1 2 and 3 so we will have uh, four phases okay four phases as i told you that in quadrature phase shift king we need four phases uh, for these four combinations of two bits okay so this is the mathematical expression now we will see the block diagram of the qpsk generation look here here uh, is the binary data and we are using here serial to parallel converter and we here get the cos here we have cos phi t and uh, by using this uh, minus pi by 2 phase change we have a phase change of minus pi by 2 when it is changed by minus pi by 2 phase then we will have minus sine phi t okay and this what is it here is the oscillator oscillator produces gives us the AC cos omega CT wave and this AC cos omega CT oscillator has uh, uh, its output goes to the phase shifter and uh, and this also this multiplier here is the multiplier so here we get the output as cos phi t and when it is multiplied by this AC cos omega CT we get 
the multiplication of this and this so we have here ac cos omega ct cos phi t okay and this oscillators uh, output is also provided to the phase shifter and this phase shifter converts it to ac sin omega ct this this converts to this ac cos omega ct becomes ac sin omega ct after phase shift and uh, here is again the multiplier so this multiplier has two inputs this one and this one so here we have minus sine phi t and here comes the ac sine omega ct so if you multiply this you will get just simple multiplication minus ac sine omega ct okay sine phi t now these two outputs of the multipliers these multipliers are added here so we will get after addition of these two the qpsk so we can see here that uh, if you add these two terms simply uh, add these two terms and then we will have the qpsk mathematical expression let's see it yes here is the mathematical expression for qpsk just add these two terms look at uh, this carefully ac cos omega ct cos phi t this part Mi minus this is added uh, this one is negative so it is minus ac sin omega ct sin phi t we can take uh, here uh, ac as common and you will have uh, this ac cos omega ct cos phi t minus sin omega ct sin phi t so it is a form of you know uh, one important trigonometrical formula that uh, cos of a plus b is nothing but the cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so it is cos a cos a cos b minus sin a sin b format so we can write it as cos of a plus b so this omega ct part is a and phi t part is b so we have a qpsk as ac the same and this cos a cos b minus sin a sin b can be written as cos of a plus b okay so ac cos of omega ct plus phi t is the mathematical expression we have earlier seen that uh, the qpsk's mathematical expression was the same this ac cos 2 pi f c t 2 pi uh, 2 pi f c t is nothing but omega c omega is 2 pi f okay omega is angular frequency so omega c t plus phi t though so this is the same expression okay so hope you like the video and in the next video we will see the demodulation of qpsk and other uh, types of uh, modulation schemes so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video see you soon in the next video Bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.